This video revises how to solve quadratic simultaneous equations. And we have two equations here. One is the equation of a circle, and the second is a straight line. If I sketch this so we can visualize what's going on. To sketch the first graph, which is x squared plus y squared equals 26, then it's a circle, and to find its radius, we square root the end number, which is just over 5. It's approximately 5. So if I imagine a circle here, it's passing through 5 on the x and the y-axis, or just over 5 anyway. Now the second equation, y equals x plus 4, is just a straight line which passes through 4 on the y-axis with a gradient just of 1. So it looks something like this. It's only a sketch. But the point is, is that the circle and the line intersect at two distinct coordinates. One up here in the top right quadrant and one down here in the bottom left quadrant. And I can find where these two coordinates are. Now then, to do this, we can use simultaneous equations, because both equations have got x and y in. And here's how we can solve it. Now, I want to write down again the first equation using two colours. x squared plus y squared equals 26. You'll find out why in a moment. Now then, we've got an x and a y in that equation, but we also know that y is equal to x plus 4. So where this y is in this equation, I can replace this by an x plus 4. So it becomes x squared plus so the y is the same as x plus 4. It's being squared. It's in the equation. And this must equal 26. So the equation now is just in terms of x. Now to solve this, I'm going to expand the bracket, the x plus 4 squared. Now we know that a squared means double brackets which I can expand in lots of ways, but we get an x squared term. We get a 4x and a 4x, which equals an 8x, and a 4 times a 4 is a 16. So back to the equation, there's an x squared to begin with. This whole expansion becomes x squared plus 8x plus 16, and we're told that this equals 26. That's just part of the question. So we're now going to solve this quadratic equation. There are two x squared terms. There's an 8x, there's a 16, and this must equal 26. Now to solve an x squared equation, it needs to equal 0. So if I take away 26 from both sides, this becomes 0. 16 take 26 is negative 10. There's an 8x and a 2x squared. Now, before we solve this, it's worth observing that all these numbers are even numbers. They've all got a factor of 2. So I can, first of all, divide this equation by 2 to make it a bit simpler. And this becomes x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Now, this then factorises because I can spot two numbers, which in this case are 5 and minus 1. 5 take 1 is 4. 5 times minus 1 is negative 5. So the brackets become x plus 5 and x minus 1. And then to solve this, we just reverse the signs. So x equals negative 5 or x equals positive 1. So I found, therefore, the two coordinates. The one in the bottom left coordinate is where x equals minus 5. The top quadrant is where x equals 1. And to finish off the question, I've just got to find the two 
y coordinates. And to do this, I revert back to the simplest equation possible, which was y equals x add 4. To find y, I just got to add 4 to the x value. So when x is minus 5, minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. So that is minus 1. And when x is 1, 1 plus 4 equals 5. So therefore, that missing y coordinate there is positive 5. So again, just to emphasize this, I used the y equals x plus 4 equation twice to find the two missing y values. So the two solutions are minus 5 comma minus 1 and 1 comma 5. And they are the two coordinates where the circle and the line intersect.